Our next step for fourth grade math is to um, represent numbers in all their different forms. We have talked about a bunch of times in third grade what standard form is. Standard form is the standard form. It's the one you're used to seeing in. It's regular, it's everyday, it's ordinary. This is standard. That's how you're used to seeing numbers. We also have word form. Guess what you use in word form? Words. So now we have to look at that and we have to say, hmm, alrighty, that's one. Remember how we look at the commas? I want you to look at the commas and identify them first. This is thousand. So now you've used that. Look at everything before the thousand. How do you read everything that's before the thousand? Well, if you read everything before that, you read it as, mm-hmm, it's not that hard, one. We've got 1,000. Now cover that up, read everything behind the thousand. Can you read a three-digit number? Of course you can. You've been doing that for forever. That's 324. So now we just have to write down three. I'm gonna go off the side. Oh, got a little bit of room. 300. 24. If it makes you nervous to write those words, just use that little um, half sheet that I gave you that gave spell spelling hints. I don't really care about the spelling as much as I care about the work. Okay, so we've got standard form, we've got word form, and then we've got the one where you are expanding. You're making it bigger. Expanded form, when you do this one, instead of um, checking out the comma first, like you do for word form. For this one, I would have you make the house. So when you're making the house and you're gonna stick that one in there, one, three, two, four. Now all you have to do is bring down the first digit and turn everything behind it to zeros. Then bring down the next digit, turn everything to zeros, the next digit, everything to zeros, and the last digit. Then make that your addition problem. If this sounds familiar, it's because I taught this to you the first week of third grade. In fourth grade, all we do is make the numbers bigger. So standard, word, and expanded. Now I'm gonna show it to you in fourth grade. All we have to do is make a big number. For some reason, um, people think once it's a big number, that makes it somehow hard, but it's not. Let me show you. Ah, huge number. Okay, don't panic. We look at the commas first. We know we're gonna read this comma as what? Thousand. The next comma, you know this already. You're gonna read that as what? million. And now we just look at the chunks in between those words, or in between those commas. So what comes before this comma? Can you read that for me? Mm-hmm. Four. Four million. We're done with this now. Now we have to look at the center chunk. What is that? It's 326. So we have to write 300. 26. And what's that other comma worth? 1,000. And now we just have to look at the last thing. What's this last thing? It's another three digit number 421. Do you see how I did the commas first? Now I wrote my 1,000 way too close, so I had to erase that and scratch it over to the side. But do you see how when you just look at the little commas and then fill in those three digit um, sections, it's really not that hard. So what for form is this that I just did? Here's standard form. And then this one I used words. That's a big old hint for you. So we call that word form. Now I need to do expanded form. This I do want to see your work. I want to see the house. So when we're doing this one, 
you're going to fill in your number. One, two, four, six, two, three, four. And remember how I told you, all you have to do is write down the first digit and everything else turns to zeros. You're just making a giant addition problem. In this way, you know what numbers you're adding and you won't uh, forget any of the zeros by mistake. That's kind of how this helps you out. So once I do this, I'm not done. I then take all those numbers and I put them in a giant addition problem. Did that one. Gotta do this one. I bet I'm gonna run out of room. Did that one. Did this one. Okay, we have standard form, we have word form, and we have expanded form.